Hello, this is Nathan from One Web Street, the right place to discover digital presence strategies for your business. In today's video, we are going to begin to explore Facebook marketing and more specifically the Facebook pixel. This will be the first video in a series of Facebook marketing videos, so hopefully you will find these helpful and will be able to apply these strategies in your business. So to begin, we need to understand what is a Facebook pixel and why it matters. Um, so I wanna briefly describe, without getting too technical, why installing a Facebook pixel is important. I'm on the Facebook page that basically is a brief description of the Facebook pixel. Um, and so I'm gonna scroll down here and I'll be sure to link to this page in the description. But basically the Facebook pixel allows for conversion tracking um, and conversion tracking is where you're able to see if an ad is basically bringing someone to complete a particular action, which is a purchase or visiting a particular page or what, whatever you deem as uh, being a conversion. Um, optimization, um, obviously you wanna be able to um, optimize your advertising and your ad spend and your advertising campaigns and so by having a pixel installed on your website this will allow you to better track those campaigns. Remarketing is basically um, showing ads to people that visit either your website or a specific page on your website in an effort to bring them back to that specific page um, to, to do an action which may be you know, to complete a purchase on your website or um, some other action that is beneficial to your business's bottom line. All right, so now that we understand what a Facebook pixel is and we understand that it is important to install on your website before beginning in doing any advertising campaigns, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how you can install it. Um, so here I am at the business on the business manager page. So to go here, you will need to type in business.facebook.com in your browser. I'll be sure to link to this in the notes at the bottom of the video. So once you're here, you will either need to create an account if you do not already have one or simply log in. Um, having a business manager account is very beneficial because it allows you to let other people manage your ads for you um, if you want to uh, be able to do that at a certain point in time. Um, and it has additional reporting functionality and additional features that are not available to you if you are creating ads in your personal Facebook account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so now I'm here in my dashboard and I'm gonna go and show you the process of creating a Facebook pixel. So what you're going to do is you are simply going to come over and click on business manager, the business manager icon, and that's going to show a drop down menu. Um, following, you're gonna go to this tool right here at the bottom right, which says all tools. And obviously by clicking on or hovering over that, we have a variety of different links to different pages and tools that we have access to. So I'm going to move my mouse over to assets, the assets column, and we have audiences, images, and pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on pixels. After clicking on pixels, I'll be redirected to the page. In order to create a Facebook pixel, you're going to come to the top right corner where it says add data source and you're going to click on that and we have F Facebook pixel. So you need to click create um, and it says right here by clicking create I agree to the Facebook pixel terms. If you want to look at those more specifically there's a link here to look at those and what that entails. I'm going to skip that and basically just click on create. Um, and so now we have created a Facebook pixel. And so now uh, there's different integration options. Maybe you're using a WordPress website or Shopify or Squarespace or BigCommerce. There's many different platforms that this integrates with. Alternatively, you can manually install the code yourself and, and or you can email the instructions to a developer. 
All right, so I'm going to give an example of how to install the Facebook Pixel on an example website. Um, and this will be a good example to reference for anyone that is not tech savvy, um, as I'm going to use a plugin to install the code. So I'm gonna go over to a, another website. Uh, this is a WordPress website. Um, and if you have a WordPress website, this should look familiar as this is where you can install plugins. So I search for Pixel and the first result is a plugin by Ad Espresso. Um, and the name of the plugin is Pixel Caffeine. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that. Once it's installed, we need to activate it. And now um, we are in the caffeine or pixel caffeine dashboard. So they have a video that you can reference here um, for how to set it up, but I'm just gonna click right here, it says set up now. Now we are in the general settings. So notice there's four tabs at the top, um, and this is the general settings tab. Um, initially it was on the dashboard tab. So what I can do here is um, for the manual setup, um, it says insert your pixel ID. There's a warning only with Facebook Connect you'll have access to all the features. So this is um, one option and the other option is Facebook Connect, the easiest way to set up, get up and running with all your Facebook features. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Facebook Connect. Also notice there's a drop down here where it says pixel position and it's either the head or the footer. So we'll just leave that in the head and I'm gonna click on Facebook Connect. All right, so now it says Pixel Caffeine will receive the public profile and email address. I'm going to continue as Nathan. Pixel Caffeine would like to manage your ads and access your Facebook ads and related stats. Um, choose what you allow, I'm gonna click on that. Manage your ads, access your Facebook ads and related stats, okay. All right, so the next step will be to select your ad account. And once you've selected your ad account, then you'll want to select the appropriate pixel ID and then apply. All right, and be sure that your tracking is on as it says right here and you will be connected. Um, then the last step is to go to the bottom and click save. All right. That is it for installing the Pixel ID with the Pixel Caffeine plugin. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. Be sure to subscribe to our channel at One Web Street, and also be sure to check out our website for more helpful tutorials on how to elevate your business's web presence at onewebstreet.com. Thanks.